nature and tranquility, then the Upper Peninsula is a place that you might want to come and visit. So it's been a very busy day. We've just left three nights at Taquanamon Falls, and now we are in um, Munising, which is in the central part of the Upper Peninsula. Taquanamon Falls was in the eastern part, so we're moving from the eastern side to the western side of the Upper Peninsula, and we have found a gold mine of a campsite. We're in Munising, and this is called the uh, Munising Tourist Campground. I think I'll post the exact name, but it's fantastic. We're in Site 77, and do you see this behind me? This is Lake Superior. I was so afraid that it was going to be super windy, but it's not. You, look how calm Lake Superior is. This is an amazing site. This is probably the best site we've had yet. I'm sure we're going to have a fire tonight right on the, the side of the lake. There are no bugs or flies out right now. I know that sometimes it can be a problem around here, but um, we're not experiencing that at all. We made some ham and beans in the Instant Pot for dinner tonight. So the Pictured Rocks Cruise, they do offer free kennel for your dog if you're a customer. So we're gonna leave the dogs here for just a few hours. is enough fresh water in Lake Superior to flood both North and South America to a depth of one foot. So Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the entire world. And the water quality in Lake Superior is better in, than any of the other Great Lakes. This truly is a magnificent lake.
so we're going to pick our dogs up. We're sure that they think that we have left them here forever. What's up, Lucy and Lily? Potatoes, rutabaga, onions, carrots with beef and pork. Yep. Is that the most popular? Absolutely. I'll do the youper. Gotcha. Make those two. Two of those. We heard this was the best place to get a pasty in Munising. Well, what's the word? Not bad. Let me try it. That's different than anything I've ever had before. I really didn't think I was going to care for it that much, but this is really good. When when you're here, you have to try a pasty. It's Wednesday morning. It's just past eight o'clock and we are up out of the camp and we are headed to this dog patch restaurant. It's about it's supposed to be in the low 40s this morning, but the wind is uh, it is pretty strong and it, that it feels like it's 20 degrees to this Florida girl. But this is the restaurant that we're going to eat at right now. This dog patch restaurant. It has pretty good reviews on um, you know, TripAdvisor. So we're gonna go check this out this morning because I no way am I gonna be in the campsite cooking. It's too cold. Looks like a great place to eat. Nice atmosphere inside here. Yeah. They advertise for a country breakfast. Yep. So Fred got the sausage and biscuit with two scrambled eggs, and I got um, two eggs, bacon, potatoes, and Whole wheat toast. Good hearty breakfast. So Munising is a really nice town. We're enjoying our time here. So we've had such nice weather the whole time that we've been here in the Upper Peninsula, but yesterday it was in the 80s. Today it's not going to get out of the 40s, and the wind is 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 really strong, as I mentioned a few minutes ago. So here is a look out our camper door at this campground. It's a little bit too cold and I don't feel like getting out, but this is a good view of it. You can see the restroom and shower facilities right up there. It's a pretty nice campground. It, it's not so much that the amenities are great here, it's the view. And all the sites along this row have this fantastic view of Lake Superior. So we're going to head into the town of Marquette and just do a little bit of wandering around and shopping today. It's just a scenic viewing area along the roadway. Look at how pretty this is. The water looks so clear and clean. that I noticed as we're driving into Marquette is all of the fir trees, the Christmas trees. So we're just driving around Marquette a little bit. It's really a pretty town. Uh, this is a college town. This is the home of Northern Michigan University. We are in the downtown area, just on the outskirts of it.
Oh, you look good. This is my motorcycle that I want. Yeah, you look good. You should drive it home. Just like that. Yeah. You can ride this all the way home. <laughs> well, we found a little shopping mall in, Hutt, in uh, Marquette, and we stopped there and did some shopping, and this, uh, this restaurant was recommended to us. So we're going to go check this out. It's called Hudson's Classic Grill. Pretty cool looking place. Okay, so this place is a hit. I almost forgot to film my food, but this is the best white fish we've had since we've been here. And I had a little bowl of potato soup that was amazing. So in Munising, there is a, um, a little pull off and it says Grand Island. And then you pull down in here and it says Ferry and it's a ferry service over to the island. Ferry schedule, May 27th to June 16th. Here's the boat that's the water taxi. Pretty cool. Prepare to enjoy the rugged beauty and adventure that is Grand Island. Whether you stay a few days or only a few hours, you'll find 300 foot cliffs and long sandy beaches, all set against Lake Superior's awesome backdrop. I see they have a lot of bicycles here that you could rent. It's such a pretty night. This is our third night here. Look how pretty this is. Look at this now, the sky is purple. And it's, what is the time, is it nine o'clock? It's after nine. This is 9.30 at night. So today we're cutting through the Hiawatha National Forest. Um, we are in our fourth day in Munising and we are going to spend the day on Lake Michigan. It's a beautiful day today. The temperatures are in the 60s. It's very sunny. Completely different from yesterday. So we made it to the shore of Lake Michigan. The lake meets the horizon. You cannot see the other side of the lake. And there are no rocks here like there were on Lake Superior. Water is very clear here, like it's superior. Beautiful. Looks like a freshwater ocean out here. You want to go swimming? It wouldn't burn your eyes. <laughs> in the summertime, don't you know that people will flock to this beach to have a good time in the water? They probably do. Picnics. Yeah. It's a beautiful beach. It is. Did you pan around? Uh huh. Yeah. This is so pretty. And it's so nice that there's nobody out here. We do let Lucy off leash whenever we possibly can, but this is not the place. Look at Lucy looking at the woods. I know what she's thinking. Lucy is a little hunter. Well, Fred and I are both just so impressed with this beach. The dogs had a great time. Um, there's little picnic tables here on the other side of the road. A restroom facility down there. Just a beautiful little area. We definitely enjoyed Lake Michigan's seashore today. Manistique is turning out to be quite a pretty little town. Look at this, the homes that are on Lake Michigan right here are magnificent. Look at that. And then 
this lighthouse. Oh, there's a little boardwalk where you can go out there. And there's a campground right here too. Oh, if you're looking for a place to camp, this would be a good one. And um, Manistique, I, I believe that, that the springs, as itchy, kitschy, however you pronounce those springs, are very close to here. Do you want to walk out there? It's a beautiful day, a beautiful walk. We're here, so we're going to do it. Well, this lighthouse called the Manistique Lighthouse, which sits at the mouth of the Manistique River on Lake Michigan, was constructed in 1915 and it's 35 feet tall. So we think that you can walk out here to it. The sand is really thick and sugary. This is definitely worth the trip here, don't you think? What we've seen so far in Manistique, we're so glad we took the 45 minute trip to get here. Look how clear this water is. It's so pretty. Well, we're almost back to the truck. And I'll tell you, that's a little bit further than what it looks. Coming up those sand dunes and that thick sand, it's getting a little bit of a workout. But most definitely worth it. Well, we say goodbye to Lake Michigan for right now. And the next time we see you, we'll be headed to Mackinac Island, which is just going to be in a few short days. So according to TripAdvisor's Big Boys Restaurant, it's about the best place to eat here in Manistique. So we're going to try that. Kitchita Kippy. Those are the springs I was trying to say, and the lady just told me how to pronounce it. Kitchita Kippy, and it's about 10 miles from here. So you get a really yummy salad bar and about four different kinds of soup. This is cabbage soup and a pork sandwich and fries for $13. It's a pretty good deal. Okay, so we are here at the spring. Kitchita Kippy. <laughs> how do you say it? Kitchita Kippy. <laughs> it is very pretty here. We almost missed this place. Probably wouldn't have come to it had it not been so easy for us to get to, but this is beautiful. A few screaming kids here, but other than that. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. 
Boy, that's really clear water. So this raft gets pulled along this cable to the other side of the spring. And then you can watch down here the entire bottom area. Look how big those fish are. Well, Fred wants to go check out the gift store here. Mitchell's here. My son Mitchell drives a Lincoln like that. Yeah, Mitchell and Jennifer beat us up here. <laughs> Fred is a shopper. He loves to shop. And I do too. Yeah. So Fred took that little baby mouse out for those sales ladies and they're giving him a free ice cream for being so chivalrous. Good job, sweetheart. He's going back in to get his ice cream. Well, I had to get an ice cream too. And I'm not even a fan of peanut butter ice cream, but I got it because she said it was the best. This is really good. It's got big hunks of fudge in it. It is excellent. Fred came over and was talking to uh, me and Phil. He said you were sorry snug as a bug. In oh, life. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> Every <laughs> night the sunset's been different. Really? Mm-hmm. Yesterday, last night, the sky was all purpley. It was gorgeous. Isn't this beautiful? Yes. Well, I missed last night. I went to bed early last night, and uh, I told Phil, I said, well, I'm, I'm definitely staying up for this one. <laughs> But we'll be here, you know, till Wednesday, so I'll have to make sure I take pictures every day. All right, so I'm going to take a quick tour around this campsite. And you can see we're in site 76, what, 76, 77, 78, 79, all these along the lake. These are definitely the camp spots to get if possible. And let me show you this one on the end. I think this is the best spot in the whole site. It's site number 80. And you can see there's nobody here to the left of you. Um, you've got a great view of the water. So if you can get it, get site 80. Um, the amenities here at this park, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate maybe <clears throat> a 4. Um, it's the view at this campsite that you're going to go for. So if you can't get around the lake, I don't know um, but um, I took a shower here and after five minutes the water turned ice cold um, I thought it was a fluke but I was scared to try it again Fred took a shower here and it was cold the entire time and then when he was walking out the guy from the office came in and said did something he says oh there's hot water now but it was a little too late so just uh, keep that in mind. But you can see here are the, here are the sites on the road that is um, not on the water. It's, it's pretty crowded here. Here's the restroom facility. Yeah. You definitely want to get your reservations in early so you can get on the water. I don't really know of any other campsites around here where you can access Munising um, this closely. Or, or, or actually, that, that, that campsite that we saw yesterday was really nice. It was on the water too. And uh, when we went into that town near Lake Michigan, but you know, it's 40 minutes away from here. 
But this is a tour of this campground. So you can see what you would get. It's like 69, 70. These do back up to the roadway. 71. The Wi-Fi here is ex, or not the Wi-Fi, but the internet is excellent here. So I was burning on all, all bars with Verizon. I'm not sure what's down this way. I've not been down here. More lakefront sites I see. No, this end of the park seems like it's a little nicer. There's more grass. 51. It's grassy. 52 is grassy. This end of the park does seem to be a little bit nicer if you can't get on the water. And here's more waterfront sites down here. There are quite a few of them. We're looking at 97 right now 97 98 there's a tent site or I guess it's a campsite down there on the end that one looks pretty nice too whatever one that is down there on the end there's another restroom facility on this end that's site 93 92 91 90 89 88 and this is 13 12 11 10 but you get the idea so this is the camp office and I'm gonna head back to our campsite now